now let me talk about how to actually do the arbitrage uh, on the forward trade agreement now let me consider the case we have the same mr x now this mr x has one lakh dollars uh, now he has one lakh dollars and he has to uh, uh, invest it into a bank for a period of one year now he has he goes to the two banks he goes to bank a bank a says that the interest rate is uh, 10 percent per annum now uh, there is another bank that is bank b he says that the interest rate is 12 percent per annum but it, the deposit but you can deposit only for six months now uh, in this case the mr x is saying that a bank a uh, in this case if he goes and deposits into the bank a the bank a is going to pay him 10 percent interest for the whole year but in this in this uh, another scenario he is going to uh, uh, into the bank b and is going to deposit uh, uh, in uh, at a rate of 12 percent but for only for a six months after the six months the interest rates are going to change now he is quite worried about whether to, if I go into invest into the bank B but what is going to happen to the interest rates after a period of 6 months. Now over here the role of the FRA comes into play. Now FRA bank says that uh, at what rate, what is the rate at which will you enter into the contract with me. He says that go and deposit into the bank B and then you will get one lakh and one lakh and six thousand from bank b then you deposit it with me and what is the rate that you are expecting what is the rate that mr x should expect now this expected rate is known as theoretical fra now how do we calculate this theoretical FRA? Now let me consider this case. This is a time period 0, this is 12 and this is uh, your 6 months. So essentially this will be a 6 into uh, 12 FRA. Now for this full period the rate is 10% and the factor is 1.1. For these six months, the rate is 12% for per annum, but for the six months, it's going to be 1.06. Now, I need to calculate the rate for this time period. At what rate should I deposit? So, as to, uh, at what should be the F? What should be the rate that an FRA bank gives so that I can deposit my amount? Now, let me calculate this theoretical FRA. Theoretical FRA. This rate, this particular rate, is known as theoretical FRA. Now, uh, the uh, let me put it as 1 plus r now so simply 1.1 is equal to 1.06 into 1 plus r so this is the scenario now if i divide 1.1 by 1.06 this will be my 1 plus r in this sense I will get a theoretical FRA of 7.54% so this is the 7.54% is the FRA for the full year for 6 months the because this is a 6 months period it is going to be uh, sorry this is uh, uh, this is uh, for a period of uh, for a period of 6 months and I've, I can calculate it for a full year but simply by multiplying it by 12 and dividing by 6 if you want a full year period full year theoretical FRA now uh, let me consider a case now the theoretical FRA is 7.54 percent if FRA bank gives less than 7.54 percent I am not going to deposit because I will not earn the enough uh, enough uh, rate enough interest interest on the uh, on the uh, on this FRA transaction if the uh, FRA bank is going to give me 7.54% which means there will be no arbitrage. Now if FRA bank is going to give something less or something more than 
7.54% there is going to be the arbitrage and there is going to be the arbitrage now uh, this is this scenario we are going to exploit how to exploit this scenario when the rate is not 7.54% uh, uh, where e even if the rate is less than 7.54% 7 7 or the rate is more than 7.54% how do how we are going to exploit this scenario uh, uh, and how do we actually earn from the arbitrage now, now let me show you how to actually exploit uh, uh, the uh, 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 exploit on uh, when there are uh, and mispricing on the interest rates on how to enter into arbitrage. Now let me consider two cases. Suppose FRA is offering you to uh, uh, offering you a rate of say for example eight percent to nine percent, which means FRA is going to take your deposits. You can lend to the FRA bank at eight percent and borrow at nine percent. So this is one case and in the another case I will take FRA is giving you 6% to 7%. Now uh, in both the scenarios if you see the rates are less than, uh, here the rates are more than 7.54% and here the rates are less than 7.54%. Now how do I enter into this agreement and how do I actually gain from uh, from this transaction? from this mispricing of the interest rates. In this case I will firstly at a time 0 at time 0 I will borrow assuming I don't have any money I will borrow 1 lakh dollars from bank A that is giving me at a rate of 10% per annum for 6 months. then I will invest one lakh dollars sorry for 12 months I will invest one lakh dollar in the bank B at the rate 12 percent per annum for uh, six months because bank B is only taking the uh, uh, deposits for six months then I will enter contract with FRA bank 6 into 12 FRA at the rate 8 percent per annum okay, so I'm, uh, I am going to invest uh, investing means selling FRA so I'm, on, I'm short on FRA now let me see uh, what happens at maturity and let me discuss the payoffs at a maturity after six months firstly uh, the uh, 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 bank B is going to give me one lakh and six thousand so bank I have got uh, one lakh six thousand from the bank B and I will invest those one lakh and six thousand I've, uh, I have invested those one lakh and six thousand into FRA bank at a rate of eight percent per annum, but I am getting only for the six months, so I will am depositing it only for the uh, at a four percent. So let me calculate it. How much is this? It is equal to one lakh ten thousand two hundred and forty. Now uh, uh, this is my cash outflow sorry uh, cash inflow and what will be my cash outflow what I have to give I have taken a loan from this bank at a rate of 10% for uh, uh, for a period of uh, 12 months so I have to pay 1 lakh and 10,000 so 240 is going to be my arbitrage profit now how do I got this amount is simply because I have invested this for in this bank for a uh, rate of 12% for 6 months so which means 1 lakh 10,000 into 1 1.06. So this is the way how we actually exploit the uh, arbitrage transactions. Now let me go to another scenario when the rates are less than 
uh, FRA, theoretical FRA. Here the rate was more than theoretical FRA. Here the rates are less than theoretical FRA. Now at time 0 what I am going to do? I am going to borrow rupees, I am going to borrow dollar from bank B at the rate 12% per annum but they are giving only for 6 months for 6 months I am going to take this amount and invest in bank A for 12 months at the rate 10% per annum I am going to enter into a contract with FRA bank to borrow uh, see uh, I have uh, I have borrowed from this bank one lakh for six months which means after six months I have to pay them one lakh and six thousand one lakh and six thousand so I am going to borrow one lakh and six thousand from FRA bank I am going to enter into 6 into 12 FRA to borrow uh, which is going, which means that I am long on the FRA at the rate uh, so borrowing rate is 7% so at 7% per annum now what happens at maturity so firstly cash inflow I am going to generate the cash inflow from this bank where I have invested at 10% per annum so I, this bank is going to give me 1 lakh into 1.10 which is going to be 1 lakh and 10 thousand dollars I have to pay to the FRA bank cash outflow so now I have to pay the cash outflow uh, because I have I have a contractor to borrow from them one lakh and uh, six thousand dollars the rate is seven percent per annum for the six months is going to be three point five percent so I have to give them back one lakh nine thousand and seven hundred and ten the rest of the amount that is two hundred and ninety dollars is my arbitrage profit in this way we can exploit the arbitrage in both the ways